what is the admission process for Scalar UG? The first part is you have to check whether you are eligible for Scalar UG or not. The eligibility is very simple. You should have passed uh, class 12th in ICSC, CBSC, IB, or any equivalent board. If you qualify, then the next step is you have to apply for the Scalar UG program. And where do you apply? You apply on the website. The link for the website is already shown below. The step number three then is to take the scholarship exam. The scholarship exams, instructions, um, when to take, how to take, etc. The moment you apply, you'll get all the details then. Just follow the instructions and you should be okay. Um, on the day of the scholarship test, however, you might have a question, what will the scholarship test focus on? In fact, we also get the question, why don't we directly consider the results from JE? So here is what is important for a person to succeed in the scalars ecosystem. They should be good in maths. So yes, JE covers some part of that. However, there are part of maths which are important for computer science, uh, which JE does not cover. So what we want to test in the exam is that if we teach you those concepts, which is if we introduce those concepts to you in the paper, in number theory, for example, then can you pick up that concept and apply in the questions that are given ahead? So there is a section of test which is generic maths. There is a section of test which is around certain concepts in number theory, which we will tell you about. We'll teach you about in the paper itself. And then you solve a few questions using that. Um, so the one part is maths. Second part is English. Um, English is, is, I mean, again, important for all kind of tech jobs. We assume that there is certain level of proficiency in English that you already have. And that is what is checked in the paper as well. The third part is logical reasoning, uh, aptitude, which again is not part of JE, but like we do want to make sure that you're smart enough to be able to quickly catch on to things that we will be teaching you as part of the curriculum. And hence that section exists. And the final part is where we want to check on your ability to learn things really fast. So that section is sort of a wild card. It introduces a new concept and then it checks whether you have understood the concept or not. And are you able to then use that knowledge in a problem solving exercise? So that's what the paper is about. It is heavily geared towards making sure that somebody who can do this paper well actually has a very high chance of succeeding in the scalar ecosystem. The JE might not be like to like because JE has focus on physics, chemistry, uh, which to be honest, bear no correlation to your success in the CS computer science space. So that's the third part, which is scholarship. Once you've given the scholarship test, then there are three results possible. Either you could be selected or you could be waitlisted or you could be rejected. We'll inform you about the result of the scholarship test in a week from the time that you give the test. If you are selected, then the next round for you is an interview round. In the interview round, we evaluate your fitment for the scalar ecosystem, your behavioral fit for the scalar ecosystem. So think of this as a 30 to 45 minute interview that happens with a scalar member. Now the result of the skill interview, again, is two parts. One, you're either selected or you're rejected. Again, we'll let you know of the decision immediately uh, within a couple of days. If you're selected, then you'll get an offer from us to join Scalar, which you can choose to accept or reject. In case you accept the offer, then in that case, you'll have to pay the admission fees to block your seat. And then we'll inform you about the dates of the classes, uh, where to report, when to report, etc. And then finally, the classes, etc. will begin, your orientation will happen. So that's roughly the admission process. If you do have any question about the admission process, then we have an admissions team that you can contact. The details of the contact are again shown below. Thank you.